Hey everyone, so this 3D Cobra model right here is actually one that I created in just three seconds using Genie from Luma AI. In a recent video, I introduced a trick to kind of capture this 3D effect using 2D video of 3D models displayed on LoomPad 2. And it got me thinking about what I could do with different types of 3D models. So I came across Genie, which is actually a, a service that allows you to create your own models. You just type in a text prompt of anything you want and it'll create that exact thing that you asked for. I mean, it's not 100% precise, but it's the first tool I've seen of this type. It actually does a really good job and the coolest part is that you can download them and view them directly on the LoomPad 2 or other 3D displays. So basically what you do is you go onto their website, you type in a text prompt like this, like cobra emerging from flames or giant tiger head emerging from the sand, made of sand, and then it'll create exactly what you asked for. It only takes a couple seconds. It gives you four versions of what you asked for. Change it if you don't like it, have it retry over and over again until you see something you'd like. And then once you find it, then you can increase the resolution to a high resolution output. And then it gives you a higher quality 3D model and you can download those lower quality quality 3D models to view on this LoomPad too. I have a bunch of them right here that I experimented with. I made some really cool stuff like this lion. This one is also increased resolution. I said like lion made of fireworks and then it produced this guy. So I like this one. And then this one too is pretty cool. It's a dragon spiraling around in the clouds, I think was my text prompt. So it generated this. I think it looks pretty nice actually when I upscaled it or when I increased the resolution. This, I tried some different types of dragon so like this crystal dragon turned out pretty high quality. All I asked was for a crystal dragon and then it output this. Here was my attempt at sort of like a cave of wonders type of tiger head coming out of the sand dunes and this one actually I think turned out pretty cool too. So all of them look incredibly 3D on this display. It's just like viewing any other 3D model but it's so cool because you can make your own and you can do it in just seconds and then download them onto this. The ones I've shown you so far are all the high quality ones that I increased the resolution of but for example this attempt is one of the low resolution ones. So this one took literally just three seconds to generate. You can download it immediately and then import it over to the tablet and view it and they all look great. Even these low resolution ones can look pretty cool on this. This other dragon in the clouds was a, another low resolution model that I created created in just two seconds. So I thought this was a pretty cool tool and it's a really cool way to just increase the amount of models that you have on your LoomPad 2 to view for free and then make a bunch of different stuff tailored to your liking or whatever you think is cool. So definitely check out Genie from Luma AI. I think they have big things coming in the future and I don't know if you've seen the Apple Vision Pro stuff but their app allows you to actually create these models and then pull them out of the window and then place them in your environment on that with the Apple Vision Pro. And I think stuff like that is gonna become more and more common, even with displays like this, like 3D displays. There'll be AR use cases where you can just kind of push it back into your environment and view it in 3D or do other things with 3D. This is where the quality is right now, but I guess in like a year from now, it's gonna to start to catch up to mid journey and some of those crazy good AI content generation tools. When that happens, it's just, I can't even picture how cool it's gonna to be to type in a text prompt, generate anything you can imagine, but in 3D and then have it display on the LoomPad too. So definitely check this one out. And then also try out that method I introduced in my other video. Capture this effect like this right here using a 2D video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.